cover some basics here of Jujigatama. Yeah, and you can never stop working on your fundamentals, right? There you go. Okay. Now, we roll them over. By the head roll, hip roll. Somehow we got, Derek got Mike down. Somehow he's got the basics. You guys, remember also, if you're on the bottom, you want your feet up, your knees in the mat, because Mike knows he's in trouble. You know, he's got a ring in his head. He says, this isn't good for me. Okay, he'll probably turn in, bridge, whatever. He's going to try to escape the people. So we're going to address that, actually. So he's ready, even in practice, always be in a position where you're ready to, to, to work, okay? It's very important. All right. Now, we're going to concern ourselves with what Derek needs to do to keep Mike from getting up yeah. and from doing things to get away. Because Derek, you know, like with judo, sambo, submission grab, yeah. anything that he, it's, the referee's only going to give him so much time, okay, whatever the sport is. So, he knows he's got to work pretty efficiently. All right, so we're going to look at some things that Derek needs to do to keep Mike here until he can maybe arm lock him, maybe switch into a pin or a choke or, you know, like a triangle or something, whatever it may be. So, there we go. First of all, he's got a good leg press going. He's got control of shoulders here. See how Mike's shoulders are crunched like this. He's not square. You know, we always use the analogy of bench pressing, you know. If, if you can't bench press like this very well, you can like this. So he's got his crunch up there pretty good. So think, think of basics, guys. Think of these things. Okay, now, Derek is automatically trapping Mike's arm. Can you see how he's got his left arm trapped and he's got a nice little thigh grip here? And, and, or he might do another one, but he's got a good solid control here of Mike's arm. So he's trapped his arm. So his upper body his shoulders here are controlled, okay? Now think of also, it, it very, it, it's, it's good sound uh, methodology. The Kodakon, Judo, has the method. You've you heard of things like Shiho, you know, like four corners, like Yoko Shiho Katami, you know, Tate Shiho, four corners. You want to control the four corners of his body. The two shoulders and the two hips, the four corners, okay? And that's kind of the methodology of that. Just, just have a theory behind what we're doing here. Okay, so he's controlling pretty darn good here. Up here, got a good control here. I switch out because we're using another. Okay, okay so now Mike's giving him a heck of a time. Mike is turning, fighting, whatever it is. Derek knows he's got to check those hips. He's got to stop those hips from turning. Okay, a couple things he can do. All right, first one, Steve, come on over here so you can see. Everybody, come on over here so you can see Derek's hand on hip check. He posted here. Now this, it's, it looks crazy, but it works. This hand right here really does prevent the bottom man from turning in quite a bit. And so Mike, Mike wants to turn in to shrimp to try to get out of the escape. And he may just keep working him. They may be real moving around. He may move him there. He has to keep him there to control. Okay. So that's a good way to park him there. That's one way to park him there. ways are you simply just grab his pants and don't or grab his hip you grab some body part where he can't move and you just keep working him kind of work yeah work around a little bit kind of semi work and Derek just stays on him and eventually Derek's thinking about okay eventually here I got to start working this guy so once he does and Mike kind of settles down a little bit or he parks in there okay as soon as he does he switches and he starts making going for the for the trap to get the lever of the arm and works the juju okay to pop it free get out of there so so what we got to do is we got to keep them there for maybe not very long, but long enough to control them to work the arm lock. And can you switch like a Uki Gatami? So let's say he can't get the arm lock, okay? But he can shift up to a Uki Gatami to hold him there. And maybe Mike says, oh, I'm in trouble, and he may roll back to hit the Juju. Well, there you go. You got that. Okay, you've always got that. You got triangles from there. You know, you, could, you start working, you know, so there you go. So. You've got, to, you've got to park them there for as long as you can do something to the guy. Stay active. That's what we're talking about. So there are a lot of ways to do this. A couple other things here on this end here. Grabbing the legs. So he might grab one or both legs or an ankle. Whatever it needs to be just to keep him from moving. By doing this, it traps Mike's arm with legs. Traps him, he doesn't have any kind of base on him. There are these just general things to do that you will learn if you get this drill on this enough. Okay, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to work on and Derek will hold him there for, you know, 20, 30 seconds. You know, you may not get that long in a real match or something. But
for, for training it's good to do. And then, when you're done, say, okay, I'm going to go do something. You're going to do the economy or the ship or something. And then it'll be Mike's turn. You're supposed to go a little bit. So, Mike, you give the bottom guy to about 25, 50% resistance. Top guy will want you to be successful. Okay? And after a while, just shift up. Okay, I got him here. Boom, I'll go to that. And then take the ship back and I'll finish it. Okay? It'll be Mike's turn. And Mike can get there again with the same thing. Does that make a lot of sense, guys? He was drilling that a bit. And we'll just, again, it's a good way to work on Juji to keep them there. You've got to keep them parked there so you can do something with them. Okay? Absolutely.